All right, we've got this thing apart and it's time to do it. It's early Saturday morning and it's cooled down a fair amount outside. So we've had the fans on pulling air in to get the shop in the back here cooler. Uh, that's a good thing. Because again, we're using a dye, a water-based dye, and it dries fast. So that in mind, again, you got when you're using a dye, you got to move. It partic you know, an alcohol-based dye would even be faster. But here's what we got. Right now, we've got the two sides and the top and bottom laid out. Now, and you see the blue tape. These are our joints. Now everything in this case is 7 8 So this is just a piece of 3 quarter inch blue tape. Now what we did when the unit was together, we took a pencil and just made a little, not even we'll be able to see it on camera, we just drew a little line so that we could tell where we needed to be. Because we, we don't want to try to tape it off exact, we want to make sure that when it goes together, the seams, there's finish. Now the question came up, and said, well, you know, will the finish, because it's going to be a little bit under the, the joint, is it going to cause a gap? No. It, it's just not enough there to, to create an issue. But if it did, in this case, because the fronts and the back of it have not been sanded or prepped yet, we could take care of that. I'd probably just take a little, I mean, it would be minor if any. I'd wipe it with a little bit of white glue and sand over it and be done. Now, this has all been blotch controlled. My whole focus on this is going to be the inside. I want to get the inside done and get it together as quick as possible. When you've got big wide panels like this laying out and laying around, and you're only finishing one side, you're setting yourself up for some of that stuff to cut. So you want to move. One of the things you're going to want to make sure of is you notice here we've got it setting up on sticks. Now, once I've dyed this and it's dried enough we can handle it, we'll move it out and we're going to bring the interior pieces in and do them. Then we'll let all that dry and we're going to finish it the interior. Then again, we're going to go as quick as we can to get it put together. It's still going to need an overnight dry. But, make sure these panels are up where they've got air moving around them continuously. Air moving does not mean put a fan on it. You put a fan on it, you're going to cup it. So, what we've got in here, we've got the exhaust fan up overhead, so it's pulling air across the top and it pulls a fair amount of air, but it doesn't really create a wind, if you will, down here. But the minute the room is clear, we'll cut the fan off. Just because we want as little air movement as possible, not because of the dry. Air moving helps dry. But that said, again with the dye, I don't want it to dry too fast. Now I'm set up, I've got my spray gun, with dyeing. I've got a wet pad with dye. I've got plenty of cloth to wipe off with. And when I get to the little ones, I showed you this. This is that little touch-up gun I got from Harbor Freight. Yeah, I got it because some of these, it might be a little tight getting inside, so I'm good to go. Now, the other thing I want to do, I want to be careful not to get too much dye on the outer edges. But again, we're going to be sanding them anyway. Then, once it's assembled, I'll do the edges and the entire case, the outside. This is going to be a little bit tedious to do because we're going to have an inside finish and then we've got all these little edges that we're going to have to handle but I think I've got a way we can handle them pretty well. So it's time to get to it. So what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to let the camera run and just let you watch me go at it. Now I'm going to say this again, you should have a mask on, but I can't talk and wear the mask and uh, 
it's still pretty hot back here. But I've got plenty of ventilation going across, so I'm okay. Here we go. Right, the dye we're using is General Finishes uh, Vintage Cherry. Okay, we're going to let it dry. A couple things. If you notice, I'm spraying as straight down as I can. I don't want to get any angles because I don't want to get it on the edges no more than I have to. And uh, 
That's real time. That's how long it took to die this. If you can think about this, if, if you look at it, to, to try to get in here and wipe all of this and in around all them corners, not that you couldn't do it, but it would be a little tough, especially if it's really hot. So this works quite well. Seems like a little bit more aggravation, but one of the things is it absolutely positively guarantees you that you're going to get a nice finish on it. Okay, we're going to let this dry. We'll be back.